Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Minecraft, and this is my world. So, what's happening is I was talking about making a, like a waterway, and that's what I intend to do. However, I'm not entirely sure the route I'm going to take now, because my problem is is that most of the water is just covered in ice and. I could break it, but at the same time, I feel it's kind of unique that it's like that, even though it's like kind of ugly and it's just a mess. But it's just a, an event that happened to the world that may not ever happen again, and it shouldn't have happened in the first place, so it's kind of cool to sort of keep it there. However, what I would like to do is still do some sort of tunnel, and what I'm thinking is that, and I apologize for these quick, you know, big movements is because I'm recording and for whatever reason it's making me my sensitivity jump up high I think it's when the yeah I don't know but anyway the water out here goes quite far away basically it goes down there for quite a ways and I believe that direction we hit the ocean somewhere I did that little seaside shanty town or very poor attempt at one at least so I'm probably going to connect it up now I'm probably going to go ahead and maybe get rid of some of this ice and connect it through here. And then have a tunnel going underneath this place. But what I would like to do first is that I was looking down the hill and I'm thinking I'm never going to build anything down here. Oops. I'm never going to build anything down here. And just like sitting back and looking at the terrain because there used to be a ton of sand and I basically dug it all up for glass. Which was in this area here. But what I'm thinking... This might look nice if I expand the water here. So what I'm going to do is basically everything on this block level, this one I'm standing on, is going to be dug down one, and we're just going to fill it with water. So basically all of this coming up to here, well, coming up to that level, so it joins with the rest, will be filled with water. And I figured, you know what, that's going to look... Uh, pretty nice so that's the plan so I'm gonna dig all this out I'll dig it down I'm thinking I'll only dig it down one although I'd have liked to go a bit deeper just to make it look like it will fit properly and yeah oh actually it is too deep here okay maybe I'll go too deep just to give it a bit of depth and I'm not even going to bother filling in that hole over there. I'm just going to fill it with water and I think it'll look kind of nice. Maybe like a bit of a ruin that's still down there. Eventually, I may take this so it goes under this bridge, but for now I doubt it. So my goal at the moment is to just, you know, dig all this out. And we'll eventually get it filled with water. Now, of course, this is a big project. Well, not a big, not a complicated project, but it's going to take a bit of time to dig. And I'm not going to show all that in the video, so what we're going to do is skip it a bit. And when we get back, it should be all dug out, ready to put water in. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, bear with me. Okay, so... I've pretty well got it all dug out, and I've tried to shape it a little bit as well rather than just leaving it as it was because it would be a bit too uh, square and flat, you know what I mean? So, I'll show you what I've done. It, not much at all, but basically dug all this out and try to shape it a little bit. I may have gone a bit extreme there. But um, I may widen this, actually. It's going to be the... No, oh, no, the water's going to actually come up to here, right? Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's about right. Well, we could probably bring this out a little bit doesn't matter too much there we go so my problem is is that when trying to shape stuff the difficulty I have is that I do this and then okay we widened it but now you look you've got these long flat edges now I realize the world is made out of blocks but still I see these long flat edges I feel like I made a mistake so I go back and try to make it jaggy a bit and so on but no I think that will do I think that will do because the water's going to be at this level you know stuff I keep forgetting now I've dug it out about up to here. This area was never to the level of uh, that this was. I mean, this is the deep area over here and it's only one high here. So 
I'm thinking, you know, that that's just how it's going to be. I accidentally dug these out. I didn't mean to. Because I forgot this is already shaped around here and it probably doesn't hurt if I have some blocks around this level. But I'll probably do that after we've filled all this up. Uh, what I need to do now... Would it, is it easier for me to fill this in with water or is it better for me to break this glass? We can break this glass, I guess. In fact, am I better off with... Yeah. So... Next job is breaking all this. Yeah, okay. I've, I'm wondering if I should just leave like a little platform. Do I have enough room? Hang on. No, probably not. Let's have a look. Nah, bugger. What I could have done was make like um, a circle. But because off the top of my head I don't know how to make the smaller circles I can only make the bigger ones it's just not going to work but it doesn't matter, we've got plenty of ice all over the bloody place so doing this in, I mean I could have made this into a skating ring but at the same time do I need a skating ring? not really not really so yeah I'm going to go through here, we're going to smash this and I'll probably just like leave a one ice block to stop it from overflowing just so I can get the rest of it done but maybe overflowing would help although I don't think it will alright well let me get this done first it shouldn't take too long shouldn't take too long I hope and done now I'm not gonna lie I did something I really should not have done I used my diamond pick to break the glass, or break the ice, because it's one click and the ice is broken. So, like, bosh. All that did was look around and tap stuff. You know, how can you resist not doing that? I'm gonna have to repair this pick though. It's getting such, it's getting mishandled so badly. I really shouldn't have a pick, a diamond pick. But um, anyway, that's done, which is good. Now we need to start filling this sucker in. Now I can, you know, break all this and let the water flow in. That's not really going to help me. I'm thinking of leaving the trees here. Uh, that'll probably be fine. Just have some water, a couple of water trees. No point taking them out. So to fill all this in, I'm thinking we may start this side. So what we need to do is make a... Um... Actually, can I just... We could probably break these. There we go. I just wanted to... Uh, make an unlimited water supply. Now, the thing I'm never sure with these, how's the best way to do this? Because it occurred to me I could just... Yeah, it occurred to me I could just make like a checker pattern and do it that way. But I'm not really sure. This has never really been my strong point. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. Fill all this up. Nice and easy like. We'll remove the last blocks later. At least this isn't doing any weird flowing issues. You know what I mean? In fact, we could probably break these, although it is easy just to stand on top of them, get a bird's eye view almost. But no, let's go ahead and get rid of them. See what I mean? Such mis mistreatment be banned from using diamond tools. Okay, that's settled down, that's good. Right. Now I should be able to get any water. There we go. 
I think it's because the block's underneath, actually, so this is actually really easy to do. It's when there's double blocks. This one is going to be the issue. Oh, that was right. Yeah, okay, I understand now. So we're just going to fill all this in. Yeah, so as long as there's a block underneath, you're never going to... You're never going to have the flowing water on top. Plus, being it's one high, it's really easy to just place it on the spot where the water's flowing. And it kind of flattens it out. Oh, there we go. Kind of just all did it on its own there. Yeah, the floating trees are cool. I may just make the tree uh, bark, the, the tree trunk go all the way to the ground. Um, let me just make it day. I don't want to be fighting mobs down here. I've already been getting scared of sheep during the day. Suddenly walking upon me, I don't need to be dealing with mobs as well. Now, I'm not going to fill all of this water in on camera, don't worry, but I would like to just give you a quick look at what I'm doing. See, my goal is... I can only sleep at night well, very well. So, oh, and the zoom feature is a part of Optifine, just FYI. It's very nice. I've been thinking of getting so much dirt, and there's no real use for dirt, you know what I mean? You can't turn it into anything. So... I kind of want to do another sort of bastion project. I could expand that one, but I feel that one is just enough, if that makes sense. The plan I've got is to build a massive floating island somewhere, or islands, and we build on top of them. Now, that might not be a bad idea with all this dirt I've got, so I'll probably give that a go at some point. Let's carefully get down. Here yeah, we can go ahead and break this. The sheep needs to move. Move, Mr. Sheep. I was tempted to get rid of these blocks, but they were originally here and they kind of gave it a bit of, you know, shape. So I may put some more, you know, blocks on the same level as the water once I'm done, but for now I'm not sure. These blocks, though, in the middle can go. I'm only leaving the trees. So... It's all magically doing it itself. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. This is where the fun stops. Because we're now two blocks high, because I decided to make it a bit deeper from when you're looking above. Let's see. It's trying to take me. I may have to place some blocks down and build on top of them. But if I can just fill as much as possible. Now I could leave it so it's running, but I'll be honest, running water never looks that looks that good. In certain cases at least. What is going on here? That was quite weird. Sheepy, you're gonna have to move out of the way, buddy. I might just have to kill the animals a bit later. There's a few of them stuck down in the hole, I think. So... Alright, I'm probably going to place some blocks down to uh, do this. Like, bosh that there. This is where I need to do the checker pattern, I think. And we can put that on top. Kind of fills it in a little bit. But, um... It's still a bit of a disaster. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of work on this. See if I can fix all this up. Okay. And once we've got it up to that big hole, I'll uh, show you what I've done. Bear with me. Okay, my mistake. I, was, I meant to show you when I got to the hole, but I forgot to. But, um, okay, so I'll be honest. It was a bit of a waste of time digging too deep. There was no need for it at all. I completely forgot. Ooh, there's a tunnel down there. I uh, completely forgot how water works. So, for instance, the only way to stop it from flowing is to have a block underneath it, I found. Unless it's in like an enclosed space where you can sort of like position everything against the edges. So, 
what this means is I have to... Oops. Ah, uh, you little bugger. Alright, so what it means is I have to basically make a fake floor. And we fill said fake floor with water. And... These air blocks are really weird. There's one more. Smooth. Okay, so we've done that now. And it's all filled in. I think there's a sheep down there somewhere, Jesus. Gonna have to rescue it later. What this means is though now is that I've got to go back and I've got to dig all this out. But luckily this time the water's just gonna flow straight down. So it's gonna fill everything below it perfectly. Now some of this dirt didn't need to be dug. But just to be on the safe side, I'll dig all the top layer. Because there's only a top layer I've placed. There are some torches down there, but... Not to worry. See, because this goes quite a ways down. It's actually quite cool. I like it. It's kind of like a ruin. I may try this in more different locations. I was thinking back to uh, Paul's World number... 2. Where I built those ruins, which were doubled as, like, animal pens. Definitely, uh, I definitely liked them because they look nice with this texture pack at least. So, that's something I'm going to sort of try and do again. That looks way better when it's that deep. I might go down there and get some glowstone or something. I know there's sea lanterns now and sea temples, so that's something I'm going to have to check out at some point. But to be honest, I haven't even, like, single player wise, like, legit, I haven't even killed, like, the Ender Dragon or... You know what I mean? There's tons of stuff I haven't done in this game, which I probably should do at some point. I went on to use sand here, uh, just because it filled in quicker. But yeah. What we're going to do now is just clean all this up a little bit. Now, I'm not sure which of the edges here were... I may just leave them in. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave them in. I'm just going to take out the sand. And yeah, I think this will look good when it's done. Just a bit of basic terraforming. I haven't done that in a while. And it feels silly just because the game produces, like, generates, per, you know beautiful rivers going through all sorts of hills and biomes and whatnot and here I am just trying to make like a really meh one but oh well so my goal my end game basically is I just wanted to fill this in and then we're gonna have a couple of tunnels leading off from this place maybe I'll come down and build a dock but um we're gonna have one just going through there and it's gonna join up with the area I was working on the other day and there's going to be another one, and it's either going to go, what direction is that? It's either going to go south, or it's going to go to the west, which is to my right here. And we're going to hook it up somehow with that main bulk of water, you know, where I've got the druid's house, and then we've got the big bridge and all that, so I need to get over there somehow. Now I'm thinking the best way to do that is to just build like a tunnel or on surface canal, which I may do. Ooh, there's a sheep. Now I'm wondering, do I dig out all that sand? Because I could make this whole thing like too deep, like two blocks deep. And I think it would look better from like uh, a viewer's perspective, from like if you're standing up on the hill. Did I fill in all this? I ended up having to use dirt because I ran out of sand. Okay, it's going dark again. Um, let's just step back and have a quick look, see how this turned out. I can always tidy it up later, like. So, before it gets too dark, how does it look? See, all, all this was just, it looked like that. Ah, uh, fix. There we go. 
Alright, so, in all, that's quite nice, especially with the trees in it. I may add some reeds. And, um, yeah, we've now got this coming down here. And it fills this little ruin area. And I believe there's still a torch down there, so you can see a bit of light. Yeah, you can see the flowing water, a few air pockets. But, yeah, it looks quite nice, I like it. So we basically just convert this area a little bit and that's going to make room for my next part of the project where we start working on the waterway. Now I need to decide which area we're going to be doing that in. One thing I also need to do, as I said, this is my home, my sort of main place that I work around and it's still very dark in places and mobs can spawn and probably kill me or attack me at least. So I really do need to sort of secure it all. I've got to secure it. So we need to get a pathway up, we need to make it well lit. I'd rather avoid having torches all over the place, but we'll see what we can do. And as I said, I'm either going to break through this ice here, because it's the most logical position to do it, or we go around the back and then come in, but that feels a bit weird going out of the way. Anyway. That's it for uh, this Paula's World. Again, it wasn't a very big project, I'm still trying to get into the groove of it. But, um... We're basically laying the foundation for uh, the rest of this waterway project that we're doing. And then we'll work on something else. As I said, I may build a little harbour down there. It makes sense that would be the area I go down for my uh, boats and stuff. Since the area underneath here is now null and void. Because of the ice. But we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time.